Okay, I'm on my way to uh, work. I think I kind of like videotaping in the car here. I think it gives you a better perspective what a day in the life of uh, what it's like in the day in the life of managing your diabetes from a regular person perspective. Uh, not some star or um, a, a sponsored person, but just a regular Joe Blow. Yeah, also me and them, my fellow diabetic, we were speaking the other day and we was talking about how um, there's a lot of publicity, a lot of, um, I guess, noise around what a unhealthy diet, you know, eating bad things, how that contributes to diabetes. But there's really not a whole lot of um, push behind if you're not physically active, uh, how that contributes to diabetes too. Um, even though, you know, that information is out there, but usually the big push is really around your um, diet, uh, what have you. And we was thinking that, um, that not enough is done around the push of how being inactive, how that really contributes to um, uh, contributes to um, becoming type two diabetic. You know, I start thinking about that thing, and I think about the two most active people I know, the two most active people I know, and I don't mean um, gym rats or someone that's running um, a marathon every weekend, what have you, or they're out running every day. No, just regular people. Um, they're just two most active regular people I, I've ever known was really my mom and her brother, my uncle. Um, they were just, just the most two physical active people I know. My mom, for instance, um, she had a regular nine to five, but one thing she loved, she loved gardening, um, vegetables and flowers. So when she would get off from work, come in, change her clothes, and she goes straight outside to doing her thing in the garden or with her flowers or whatever it was, but she was constantly moving from the time she got in. Yeah, she'll come in and make a meal, but went right back outside. Um, the same thing with my uncle. Um, he worked on the second shift, per se. That's the one that's kind of um, starts in the middle of the day and it ends around about middle of the night. Um, in the morning, uh, his thing was um, he was a farmer. Uh, he had livestock and uh, agriculture, so his thing was in early in the morning, you know, we talking like five o'clock, five o'clock or so, five o'clock, five thirty in that time frame. He would get up, take care of the livestock, and once we finished taking care of the livestock, then he would tend to the crops. Uh, and then by the time you finish that, you know, it's time for him to go to work, and then we would come home at night. He was out. He was an outdoorsman, so he was either go fishing or either hunting, um, do something along those lines. They were just active, and neither one of them really suffered from um, diabetes. Uh, neither one of them, and it's just. And I started thinking about. I said, yeah, it's something really to it. You know, they had a regular southern non diet. You know, um, but neither one of them suffered from um, diabetes. So I guess uh, my whole my whole get off the couch thing. It's really um, a lot to it. Um, you kind of take that seriously. Uh, like I said, I always say just get off the couch, do something, just do do something physical. Um, it don't have to be um, going to a gym. It don't have to be going to an aerobics class, a Zuma class. Just um, do something. Yeah, my thing is biking, uh, what have you. And if going to the gym and going to those different classes, that's your thing. By all means, do it. But it doesn't. Um, it doesn't have to be that way. Um, just do something physical. That's what my get off the couch in your EKG. That's what it's all about. Just uh, get physical. Okay. Well, I'm here at work, so I'll see you when I come out. Okay. My get off the couch today is I'm going to fix my screen door here. I had a tear in it, and I wanted to fix it, but I've cut out a hole already. I had to take that to the hardware store to match it up. Um, as with everything else, I've never done this before, um, so I'm following the instructions from two YouTubers. Um, I forgot their names, but I will put their description in the link. So I'm following the instructions from the two of them. Okay, here I go. Okay. The tools that I used uh, was a flathead screwdriver, a roller spline, and a utility knife. Yeah, I end up using some duct tape and some scissors too. You always need duct tape for every job, so I always have duct tape handy. Now I needed the duct tape to take the um, screen door to the floor. That was a suggestion I got from C. Jane Drill from her video. I put the link to her video in the description. And actually, I was following her video and a video from Lowe's. Both of them are in the um, description. Also, end up following a video from Milgard Windows and Doors. I had a hard time taking the screen door out. 
um, that lift and just tilt out that wasn't working so I had to go to mirror guard to see how to take my screen door out so that's in the description below too yeah I'm, I'm using the screwdriver right here to get the spline to get it started see it comes out very easy once you kind of pry it up a little bit yep it was real easy to come out the next thing I just pull up the old um, screen that's the new screen that I bought right there I ended up buying pet screen but that wasn't my intention my intention was to get the fiberglass I asked the salesman was this fiberglass and he told me yes I can't get mad at the salesman I should have looked but you know I had been up there a couple of times so I just took him at his word yeah the fiber um, the pet screen one was a little thicker so I think it was a little harder for me to maneuver to get the new spline in the tracks but that's my story I'm sticking with it maybe I'm just weak <laughs> okay we're coming down to the finished product you see see it's looking pretty it's, it's, it's looking pretty good there there's right there not too bad I would definitely do this again I would probably do a couple of things different but I would definitely do it again thanks to CJ and drill and to the Lowe's video that's what really um, got me started and that's the directions I was following there it is I got it back in took a minute to get it back in too all right so don't forget to like share comment and subscribe oh I did end up cooking there for this but I didn't get much video because I had so much going you know I'm trying to cook just finished the screen trying to videotape I just had a lot going on so I didn't get much footage but I end up barbecuing some ribs and I like to smoke my ribs and it takes a, takes about five hours or so so I you know I got some video when I started but I think I got maybe the um, I got a little video maybe after I was one hour hour and a half in but I didn't get a chance to show you the finished product and here's the ribs at an hour and a half in okay <laughs>